and I was amazed. Today was the premiere of Nomadland, which came out today on theaters and Hulu, and was released by Searchlight Pictures. It blew me away. Like, in all honesty, it actually blew me away. From what, I, from what I've heard, a lot of people are calling, calling the Madland one of the best movies of the year. And I definitely agree with that. And I and one thing I hope it does is that it wins Best Picture at the Oscars. Because it deserves that. It's so goddamn effective. In, in, in a lot of areas. For the first 17 minutes of it, they don't have music and all. So I know, like, nowadays, like, some people think there should be a music in a lot of things. But... You know, sometimes it's okay not to have, like, music or dialogue in every scene. Having none of those things can be just as more effective, and you can still tell what's going on. I gotta say, this is the best role that Frances McDormand has ever played before. Um, the only other movie I've seen that she was in was Transformers 3, but, um, nope. No Madland easily takes the spot as McDormand's best performance that I've seen. I, I know she's been in other roles like Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri and Fargo, but No Madland, she is perfect as Fern. Like, uh, all the characters are per like are amazing in here. They're like, they're real people, like they have real problems and all. And it's like grounded in reality. And I don't know if there's anything else I can say about Nomadland. And also the director, um, shoot, how do I pronounce her name? Chloe Zoho, uh, sorry if I didn't pronounce that right, but that's her name. She's going to be bringing us Marvel's Eternals. Possibly later this year. And can't you imagine that's how, how that's going to be? Seeing how she did Nomadland? I think Nomadland is a really fantastic um, film. It's what I consider like a great piece of cinema. Uh, 